Hey guys, so how are you doing? My hair is crazy, but I have washed it and I haven't really put, I haven't put anything in it, so I don't really want to. I want to give my hair break from putting like product in it today, but um, it is just like a big poof. But anyway, today I've got another spring wish list. Like, come shop with me on various different websites. Today we've got Hollister, Next, Urban Outfitters. Uh, Jack Wills and Reserved and I am going to dive on into it. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've done about four of these. Um, I will link them down below. These aren't necessarily videos where I am buying any of this stuff. I'm not buying anything. I'm just seeing what is new in for spring, for my spring wish list um, for 2020. One and these brands, so like Hollister, Jack Wills, I've obviously bought things from. Next, I've obviously bought things from as well, but they're not shops that I really look at um, anymore. Especially Hollister and Jack Wills, don't really look at Next that mu that much either. Urban Outfitters, I've been in their stores, but I've never bought anything. I don't think. And Reserved, is, I've been in their store on Oxford Street. Um, I think. No, I've never bought anything from there. Nearly do. That's the only store in the UK. Um, it's a Polish brand. So, yes, I'm going to get on in with it. And I'm going to start off with Hollister. And they have got these Epic Flex jogger shorts. And I, what I like about Hollister is they tell you the length of the shorts. So this is like a 7-inch length. And I think they do a 5 and a 9 of different short lengths. So... That's good to know if you want your shorts a bit shorter, if you want them above the knee. I can see this is a bit above the knee, but not like loads above the knee. Um, they say they're joggers, but these look not like joggers. I think the only thing that makes them joggers is the fact that they've got a drawstring waist. These are £29. Hollister, as in the last video we saw with Abercrombie, of course, they're owned by the same people. Abercrombie is normally a bit more expensive than Hollister, but they are more expensive than normal high street brands although we're going to get on to next in a minute and some of the stuff on there is pretty pricey these days but yeah i like these shorts i would consider buying these we've seen a lot on other different stores that teal is everywhere it seems which i love because it's my favorite color so we've got this polo shirt and i'm sure polo shirts in Hollister used to be like 35 pound not 25 so maybe they have come down in certain areas i know they were trying to be a more like fast fashion brand rather than logo heavy but there is a lot of logos still on Hollister but then we did have the whole logo trend over the past few years um this one has got the bird logo but you can't really see it um so yeah it's a stretch polo so I guess it's got a lot of stretch into it I did just want to show you this bucket hat because I know bucket hats have been quite a thing with the whole 90s trend um I really like this although it has got Hollister you can kind of see a Hollister with the signature thing that all the shops seem to be doing. Um, I just like the check, but you can't really see the Hollister logo from what it looks like on here unless when you get it in person you can. Um, these shorts are also part of the Epic Flex Jogger Shorts 7 inch, but I really like these. These are striped. They are more expensive at £35, but they're like a pinstripe in a navy blue and it looks like to be possibly... Okay, a, right, a white and red, which kind of makes it look like orangey from far away. But these are elasticated waist, drawstring waist, so they're going to be comfortable. They look really nice. They don't look like joggers. And, yeah, I really like those. I kind of want to buy them, but not for £35. Again, with the shorts, we're very short heavy in this Hollister bit. But they've got some, like, check versions. They call them grey plaid. These are also £35, but, again, I think they would look... Like, they would be super comfy. I think, from what I know of, like, the Epic Flex range, they are super comfy things. Because I've seen in the past, and I have contemplated in the past, buying some of their Epic Flex jeans. Um, which look, and um, what I've read about the Epic Flex thing, seem to be comfortable. I wanted to throw in a jacket. This is a stretch jacket. Um, it has got the logo here in, like, the signature. But I don't mind that. I suppose you can't really see it that much. And this one is particularly distressed. It is £60 or £59. But looks quite good. I've only ever had one Hollister denim piece. Which I don't think I have anymore. I think I gave it to a charity shop. Which were 
jeans that had a rip in, if you remember uni, I got them then. I wanted to show you what their crew necks or sweatshirts look like now. This one has got the signature logo on it, as in the signature. Um, it is £27, but this is what they call this sage. See, everyone's doing sage, aren't they? Because, you know, pastel colours are in for spring. But, um... Yeah, it's a really nice colour. It looks kind of grey in some lights, but it's like a very greeny grey, it looks like, from looking at online. You can obviously never tell if it comes, how it comes, how it comes IRL. Um, I wanted to show you that I, whenever, when I used to be in to Hollister way back in the day, in like, you know, year, what was that, like year 10, 11, 6 form, um, and beyond at uni, as well, they never used to do like smart trousers, and they're doing a super skinny chino pant. I suppose they always used to do chinos because that was kind of their look, but this is like a checkered trouser, and you know how much I love a checkered trouser. So that was Hollister. Let me know what your thoughts are on. Hollister stuff, this was just me looking at what's in the new in section, I should have said that at the beginning, like I'm looking at the new in section of stuff, except on Jack Wills and Reserve, because they were very limited, so I went more in a deep dive with those, but um, yeah, we're going to move on to next now, which they had a lot of basic stuff, so I couldn't, didn't really find much. Or oh, I have picked out quite a few things anyway. But um, first off, this lightweight zip shacket. Shacket. We know from all the videos. Still a thing that is happening. This one is £38, but it's in a khaki green colour. The pockets look very protruding up here. But um, it's a zip up. It looks quite alright. Nice khaki green colour. As I said in previous videos, I don't really have any khaki. I only have one khaki green jacket that is super old that I've worn to death that I wore a lot at uni if you've been with me that long um like it was my university jacket I suppose um another polo shirt here this one is £24 I just like the check on it it's like a very although it's check it's like a big check if that makes sense you can see um did I say it's £24 it's £24 and has a zip detailing and a nice contrast collar I did really like this t-shirt, very pricey for what it is, it's £24, I did like the colour block element, again the top block colour, oh, you can hear a dog, sorry, um, is my favourite colour, it's like literally this colour, but not so mild, this is like a mile running through it, that isn't, hasn't, but it looks very nice, I'm not too fussed over the emblem that they seem to put on everything, what's that, like a stag head kind of thing? and this t-shirt is very expensive for what it is like the polo shirt with a zip and more detailing is the same price i wanted to show you what kind of jeans they had so we've got a skinny here and actually these are the motion flex stretch jeans which they come in skinny slim and straight and you can get them in different washes let me see what the size range is i won't be showing this on here okay they come in small and stuff right but I thought these looked quite nice, and um, they are £35, which is probably, it's about the same price as like Top Man and everything these days, so I noticed that they had a Marvin collection, you know, I can't remember his last name, but Marvin, who was in JLS, married to Rochelle, does the hit list, um, he seemed to, because that is him, um, to have kind of a range on here, and it's like a premium, I suppose. This is a button-free polo shirt. We saw this on the supermarket edition of this, um, and yeah, and we saw that on like M and S and stuff. So it's a polo, but all the way through buttons. But I just really like the yellow summery vibes with like the gradient kind of going through it. Very nice, and they have it in different colours. It is £30 though. I also like this premium striped tee. This is £26. wonder what the quality would feel like, but it's just got a nice... You don't really see colours going like that and then a whole white. It's normally the other way around, but I thought that was quite nice. And also a premium zip neck polo shirt. This is 22 so this is cheaper than the other polo shirt we saw earlier, which was 24 which has more detailing on, which I guess is why it's more expensive. Um, but yeah, I thought this was quite nice and a nice red rust colour for £22 and I seem to be very heavy on the polo shirts, don't know why, there was just a lot of polo shirts on next in general, um, but this is a nice navy block, navy block stripe 
premium polo, this is £28, no zip, you've got buttons instead, but nice bit of a striped colour block. And again we've got another polo shirt, a button through polo shirt this time, from the Marvin, I don't know if this is an edit or a collection, um, but that's Marvin again, um, £24 in a grey, it's got contrasting thing and collar and bottom. Um, so this one's 24 rather than the 31 which we saw previously. Did find another like worker jacket, so shacket or overshirt. This is in a brown but it kind of looks like a khaki brown. Um, button's quite big with a tortoise shell, it looks quite thick actually. Um, which is why it's more of a jacket than a shacket I suppose. This is £69 though. Again, another polo shirt, again from Marvin's range or collection. This is £30 now. Um, and it's got a very thin dog's tooth, um, thin, small dog's tooth, hound's tooth printed on it, nice contrasting sleeves, this is £30 which is a bit weird how the pricing works but we'll just roll with it. I did also really like this t-shirt, I really do love hound's tooth, dog's tooth, anything in that pattern. Um, this one has got it very large and kind of three different colours. It's £18 which is a bit pricey for a t-shirt with not much really going on it. I don't think next t-shirts are um, particularly good quality, overly good quality to justify £18 but I just thought that the t-shirt was quite nice. This Geo print shirt looked really nice, really nice. Um, it's kind of a bit trippy. Um, it's £25 so it's only a little bit more expensive than some of the polo shirts and cheaper than some of the others which is a bit weird I always think shirts should be more expensive than a polo shirt but really like that design really interesting and then another jacket again this is like from the Marvin range slim fit check it looks a bit thicker um the check is like I want to say demure is that the right word like muted so it's not so in your face it is 59 pounds though but it kind of comes in a matching set as well do they have that here, yeah, so the matching trousers to this are £45, so quite expensive, it's like suit pricing. Next website I want to look at is Urban Outfitters, which I don't, I've never bought anything from there, I haven't bought anything in there, I've been in some of their stores, never purchased anything I don't think, um, and some of their stuff is more expensive and it's kind of like brands and it's got that kind of vintage 90s vibe to it that's the whole kind of aesthetic in my opinion anyway first thing I wanted to show you were these New Balance trainers I love New Balance trainers they're so comfortable haven't actually worn them in a while um no I've not and quarantine and stuff quarantine I don't like calling it that lockdown and stuff um I haven't really been wearing I've just been wearing the Zara ones that I've had for a while um but these are very Colour blocky, very 90s. I do like this new style. I'm not sure what it says 237 here, but they actually do a different one which was on ASOS and I think it's some other places as well. But these are £80. But I thought these were, they're giving me Saved by the Bell, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, that kind of vibe. They look very 90s, but I love that. There wasn't too much really on Urban Outfitters to be honest but I found this Varsity sweatshirt which is just a sweatshirt and it is £46 but it's in my favourite colour of teal. I'm not sure what that is saying on it. East Mississippi Community College. I don't go there but love the oversizedness, love the like washed out um, teal. Very nice but £46. Um, again there was another sweatshirt which I just gave me varsity vibes it's very 90s very washed out looks very worn it is 46 pound as well um, in terms of denim and stuff these are some proper like 90 straight jeans they are from Levi's so the quality is going to be there but they are 100 pounds um, and these are like what I would imagine straight jeans used to be that is what I'm well that's what I imagine straight jeans to be but straight jeans in some places are a lot more tailored than they used to be compared to this Again, this Harrington jacket is corduroy, it looks very 90s, um, it's by the brand BDG, which I think is uh, Urban Outfitters, like, in-house brand kind of thing, it is £65, um, and it does look very, like it came from the 90s, like it looks 
use looks vintage looks retro which is kind of nice but you don't really want to pay 65 pound for that worn in look um they've got some more rugby shirts on here rugby shirts and polo shirts seem to be very in at the moment um rugby shirts generally i really liked the fact that this one has got different colored sleeves you've got my teal got my teal favorite and then like a corally salmon color on one side gray in the middle with the contrast white collar very nice it is 42 pounds but looks really nice that's by the brand it's france i have no idea how to say that um but i think from the top on the urban outfitters website it looks like an urban outfitters who own brand as well. I saw this polo Ralph Lauren half grey zip logo sweatshirt which I do really like but it's £129 so no but I, don't know, I just like that and I love a half zip quarter zip sweatshirt um, and another um, long sleeve rugby shirt I know I'm a bit obsessed with this and this is again by that brand it's Franz or something um, and this was just so nice with the stripes looks very oversized looks 90s all my favorite things this is kind of the aesthetic of urban outfitters moving on to jack wills jack wills is a brand that i used to be very into i have got some of their stuff still um that i just you know because it was quite expensive i'm not throwing it away but they have been taken over by fraser's and even my house of fraser in my town has got well before lockdown part three had like a jack will section now and like my town would never have like a jack will section back in the day when it was just like we're in varsity town coastals towns kind of thing um but yeah not a lot really on here but there was a few pieces that i did like again lots of polo shirts but jack wills used to be like jack wills abercrombie hollister were all like polo shirt heavy back in the day anyway um, this is a really nice colour block one. This one is £20, which was originally £39.99. They've got a sale on at the moment. Oh, you get a free gift bag with purchase on some things. Hmm, interesting. Um, they are taken over by Fraser's Group now, if I didn't already say, which is Sports Direct, which is Mike Ashley. But, um, yeah, I like the different colours. It's not very springy, I suppose, but I do like the colour blocking. I just wanted to mention this puffer jacket, because I thought the colours very very out there and interesting we got like a lightish well like a blue a burgundy and a navy 65 pound originally 130 so like half price ish um no that is half price isn't it yeah i'm blue math yeah i just really like that and again with the same color theme this um check flannel shirt 30 pounds instead of 59.99 They've got loads of sizes and everything as well, but I thought that was really nice. I like how they've styled it over a half zip, um, quarter zip sweatshirt, which I couldn't find. I didn't really look that hard, but I couldn't find that anyway. Um, so it must be quite a thick flannel, and the, normally their flannel shirts used to be quite thick anyway. But really nice colours, not really springy colours, but that's probably what is in the sale. But I really like that. Um, a jacket, we can't go anywhere without a jacket these days. This is a wool one, so it looks quite thick. It's £35 instead of £69.99. Um, yeah, what more can I say on a jacket? We've seen them everywhere. This Harrington jacket I thought was very nice. I know it's not very really springy, and this whole thing was springy. Um, but this green and blue check is one of my favourite things. Like, I really like it. Um, this one is half price at £60 instead of £120. Not going to buy it because I don't need any more jackets, but it's a really nice jacket for like autumn. Not very springy, but that's why it's on sale. Um, but I really like it. I love that. I love a green and blue check. This jumper, again, this isn't a very springy jumper because there was everything seemed to be in the sale and there wasn't really much in the new in section. But I really like the colourway on this with the green purple yellow blue banding it is half price basically at 30 pounds instead of 60 um this t-shirt i thought was quite fun even though you you do on jack will stuff you do have the pheasant on everything like you would on the hollister stuff this is nine pounds instead of 30 so really nice i just thought that was interesting you don't really see like a checkerboard like with a massive you don't really see that do you that kind of design Rugby shirt, um, this one is, <laughs> it looks like the rugby shirt just disappears into the picture with the white, but 
all of my favourite colours of teal, like a gradient of teal with a purple thrown in, it's £28 instead of £54.99. It's really nice. Really like that. Yeah, I do like that. And then the pheasant is like a yellow. Another, like this is an overshirt, but it's padded. So wouldn't that just be a padded jacket? It kind of looks like just a padded jacket. This is a quite a big discount. I'm not too sure on it. It's a bit weird. Um, it's £26 instead of £84.99. Um, another polo shirt, rugby shirt, which has got short sleeves. And we only saw those recently um, in the M&S video. But I do really like that. I know it says wheels on it, but it has got my favourite colours on. It's £23 instead of 45 even. And the t-shirt, that t-shirt we saw was £9. That would never have been £9 on the Jack Wolf website on the sale previously, before Fraser's. It would have been like 15 would have been the cheapest it would go in the outlets, like Bista Village Outlet, RIP to the Jack Will store there. But um, that's when you would see like the £9 prices, but not on the website. So make of that what you will. This t-shirt I thought was really nice with kind with minimal branding, just J Wills. I know it's a bit of a basic t-shirt, but you can't go wrong with a stripe. And I liked how thin the stripe was as well. I mean, it kind of makes your eyes go funny on the computer, but really nice. And then last thing from Jack Wills was this funnel neck, quarter zip. They've called it half zip, but it is a quarter zip because it doesn't go halfway down the thing. Um, in the grey. Oh, is this where the burgundy one is? Yeah, this is the burgundy one is on here as well. They're both £65 instead of £89.99, which isn't a huge discount, I suppose, but it's still cheaper. Um, that's where that uh, burgundy one was, which we saw in the first... Is that the first thing we saw? I don't think it was. Um, that shirt, basically. Moving on to Reserved now. Reserved is a Polish brand. It's kind of compared to, like, Zara. I think it is very Zara Mango esque in terms it's quite minimal um and stuff like that i did only find a few pieces there wasn't really much new in at all um again we've only got one store in the uk they were plans to um go into westfield london as well but with the whole pandemic and everything i don't know too much about that have been in their store a few times before and if anyone when you go into that store the like front bit is so weird the flooring it creeps me out. Um, I've only been in it a few times, but this basic sweatshirt caught my eye. It's £20 in the colour. Do they tell me what the colour is? No. But it's like this beige colour, but it's got a high neck. Um, I can't wear roll necks. If I wear roll necks, I will literally not have a neck because my neck's not that long. Um, so I like, if I want to give the illusion of wearing a roll neck, I wear like a high neck thing. I don't want one some one that rolls over is that called a funnel neck this is what this has like that and it comes in like a black a brown and this beige color i did really like this backpack as well i'm not too sure what it is made out of let's it's 100 percent poly polyurethane so i'm guessing that's like a nylon-y fabric but i just really like the color it's a bit pricey for what it is at 35.99 but it's a nice khaki backpack I've not really shown any shoes in these videos, but these caught my eye. They're thick sole trainers, so they're like the chunky trainer, but not like the dad chunky ugly trainer trend, because I'm kind of moving away from that in my styling, and I want some more clean, um, clean white trainers. These were nice, these are £30. Don't know what the quality was. I can't, I think re reserve quality was very comparable to like Zara, but I'm not sure about shoes and stuff. Did want to throw a jacket in there. This is a denim jacket with the like Berg Sherpa collar. I'm not sure if it's lined with that. It is lined with that. That's good. It's only £25.99 for one of those jackets, and these would have been in like Primark. These are £25, so that's really good. It is on sale from £40, but. I suppose the quality could be better, although I do like Primark's quality of stuff like that. Um, and this is like in a traditional blue, they've got it in a black and a grey as well. And I just wanted to throw this briefcase, not throw, literally, at you. Um, this briefcase, which I thought was really good. It was originally £50, it's now £15.99. I thought this was really good for work. I like this kind of style bag for work. I've got one from Mango. Um, it look, it's not the front bit I would like to be all the way to the top but I am happy with that 
looks quite good, looks quite roomy for a briefcase style bag, um, but it isn't like a brown colour, but I'm willing to overlook that, but it looks quite nice. That is the rundown of those three shops, we went through Hollister, we went through Next, we went for Urban Outfitters, Jack Wills and Reserved, I felt they would all kind of have similar-ish pricing, some of the stuff was more expensive in some stores than others, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts on those stores were, have you bought anything from Hollister or Jack Wills recently, what's your idea on Next, have you spent anything in Urban Outfitters, and have you ever been in a reserve store if you're from another country, or um, London based, because I've been in the Oxford Street one a few times and bought anything on there, have you even heard of Reserved? Let me know down below, um, if you're not already, please subscribe click the button and follow you on Instagram's link down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!